Okay, so we're looking at aperture, and remember that aperture is measured in f-stops. We're currently at a 2.8, and we're going to show you all of the settings. We're going to keep changing those settings on you, and we have a pop-up menu here for you to click through all of the different settings. I'm here with my good buddy Tim Deegan. We're going to play some Rock Band for you, and we're going to rack focus between myself and Tim. That's rack focus. Watch what happens to the depth of field or the amount of blurriness and the amount of sharpness when we change the aperture. Okay? Just play with it. You'll get it, as opposed to me explaining it. You ready to rock? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Now, we, uh, we can't play any music for you because that would be copyright infringement. And we all know that copyright on infringement on YouTube is not a good thing. Not a good thing at all, but uh, we're racking, right? We're racking between uh, between Tim and I. I can't see the camera. I think those guys are racking, and we're uh, we're ra we're racking and rocking. I think we're doing really well too. Yeah, you're doing fantastic. So uh, you can click through again. We're still at 2.8, and we're just racking in the 2.8. So try changing the aperture, and uh, and you'll see the difference between the uh, the aperture settings. 